good morning, Josh. A uh, quick demo video for you for your Starfall Sabers Saber. I uh, got this done yesterday. Uh, this is a beautiful Saber installed with a Prop EV2. You've got uh, CC Sabers in there for your main PCB. And then uh, it's a two button setup. So when these shrouds are facing up like this, uh, the, the left hand switch here is your activation and the right hand switch will be your auxiliary. When you play around with that a little bit, it's, it's very easy to get used to. Uh, these switches are made by Phil Guinness, and they're absolutely beautiful. Um, to get to everything, what you want to do is this gribbly right here. Just untwist it a few turns, and then you could slide the handle right out just like that. Now, this handle will go on in any orientation, but I'm taking the shroud from the handle, and I'm lining it up with the shroud on top of your emitter, and that's how I'm lining that up every time I put it on. So when you take that off, here's your chassis and your crystal chamber. Uh, you have a beautiful crystal chamber there. Um, Proppy board up here. So the board's just a snap fit down into the shelf, but it's a super tight fit. So if you ever need to pop it up, you can just pop it up diagonally like that, do what you need to do, and then snap it back down into place. And then you also have um, a removable battery setup, right? And then a 28 millimeter Snuggles Outpost Elite speaker in here. Um, now I did wire up your chamber independently although i've got i've got the crystal uh just mimicking the blades on every sound font now you've got the stock sound font package from from starfall sabers which is a really nice sound font package um the crystal will mimic the blade but in the future if you wanted to go into the config and mess around with that you can make this crystal do all sorts of different things um you know all independent of the blade it's it's all up to you i just wanted to let you know that that capability was there in case you wanted to use it so let's throw a battery in the sky we'll do this with the handle off for a second so you can see your crystal chamber so you do have motion controls you see your crystal chamber in there LEDs firing up and you got really nice shine through in your windows. Just like that. I wanted you to see that crystal chamber before I put the handle on. We'll slide this handle on. Line up the shrouds how we want. And then we'll just come over here with this guy and we'll just tighten this down. And this is your blade retention screw. So we're going to loosen that up a little bit. We'll put this blade in. This takes a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. So we come over here and use activation if we want. Tapping for blast or deflex. You've got blade lock up, so. Or, or you've got battle mode. So if you hit the blade or the saber, you'll get blade lock up. You can see that right here. And it'll stay like that until you pull away from it. And we'll just twist off. Um, each of these has a soundtrack, right? So you just hold down power for one second and let go. And do the same thing to turn it off. Um, to get to another sound font, we just want to tap the auxiliary button. Journey. The shine through is really cool in, in your windows, in your emitter. Reconcile.
And then we're back to the beginning, right? We wanted to take this handle off. Expose that crystal chamber. Really cool. And we'll take this plate out real quick. So yeah, everything's working like it should. Let me know if you got any questions. Taking the battery out is super simple. Uh, from the positive side by the speaker, just pop it out with your finger and it will come right out just like that. And um, yeah, the handle slides on very slick. No threads, just a locking mechanism, which is really cool. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. If not, this guy will go out in the mail to you Monday morning. All right, thanks, man.